Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I thought that we would have more fun with our little pH test kit. Um, you guys responded so well to my video a couple weeks ago where I tested the pH of vitamin C serums that had ascorbic acid in them because, as we know, they only work if they're at a certain lower pH. Well, did you know that that's also the case with alpha hydroxy acids? They also have to be formulated at a lower pH in order for them to work. Alpha hydroxy acids are a class of ingredient that they put in skincare that are chemical exfoliants. So what they do is they kind of loosen the glue that holds dead skin cells onto the surface of your skin and they help those dead skin cells to turn over faster. As we get older, the turnover of dead skin cells takes place much slower and so we end up with a thicker layer of dead skin cells on the surface and that helps our skin to look more crepey, to look a little bit more wrinkled. So if you can get off a few layers of those dead skin cells, it helps your skin to glow and have that lit from within look. And it also helps to brighten your appearance and it also helps to reduce the look of fine lines and wrinkles. So alpha hydroxy acids are really great to use in your skincare routine. So within the umbrella term of alpha hydroxy acids, there are quite a few of them. The most popular one is glycolic acid. There's also lactic acid, mandelic acid, acid and a few others, but those are the main three. So when we're talking about pH, the natural pH of our skin is between a four and six, and the natural pH of water is seven. That's considered neutral. But the natural pH of alpha hydroxy acids is somewhere between 3.5 and 3.9. At more of their natural pH, about a 3.5, something underneath four, they really penetrate your skin better and they really cause more exfoliation to happen. Now, if you formulate them too low, say at a two or a zero, it would just be too acidic and it would just burn your face right off. If the pH is too high, say above four, something in a six, seven, or eight range, then that's too neutral and the alpha hydroxy acid won't penetrate your skin and it won't be able to give you any skin cell turnover. So for today, what I wanted to do is just take all these products, because there's a lot of them, and just pH test them with our little test strip and see which ones are actually at the right pH to get into our skin because shocker of shockers, the companies know what the pH is that they need to put in it, but some of them don't. And so they're selling you basically some glorified water or a glorified cream to put on your face that really isn't going to do anything. And what we want to know is which ones are worth it to spend our money on, which ones are in the right pH range to actually get into our skin and work. Those are the ones that we're going to plunk down our money and buy and use. The reason that they keep the pH a little bit on the higher side with some of these products is basically so you don't burn your face off so that you don't use it so often and so that you're not able to really you know damage your skin because you can do damage to your skin with acid so you really do have to be careful and so companies really have to walk a fine line between developing a product that is going to be effective and where you're not going to hurt yourself okay so you know if you're I don't want everybody to go getting mad at all the companies over this you know if it's super high and it's like water and going to do absolutely nothing then that's one thing if it's a little bit high you know that's probably where they're coming from is safety first. So I've got a bunch of them on the counter behind me back here. Some of the stuff I did purchase with my own money, like my favorites that are in here, I have so many alpha hydroxy acid products just hanging around here in my PR closet. Let me go through the closet, pull out a bunch of them, and we'll test the pH on those and see which ones are worth your money. So these test strips will register the pH of any water-based product, and it has a range on here from 0.5 to 5.5. Let's go out to the lab and test us some pH of alpha hydroxy acids. All right, so let's get started with the testing. I've got our control here, which is distilled water. We're just gonna take a drop of that and put it on the test paper to make sure that it tests nice and neutral. So if we compare that right there, you can see that that is green, which is in the neutral range. Now let's start with the Alpha Skincare. I love this brand because they tell you right on the label what the pH is, and the pH is 4.0. So that's right in the good range. It's a little bit high, but again, they don't want you to hurt yourself. 
All right, next is the Ordinary Lactic Acid 10%. This is something that I use in my daily routine. I love this guy. Next is the Ordinary 30% Peel. So I'm starting with products that I use because I know that these are in the right pH range. That one's gonna be harder to see because it's red, but you can see it turning. This one is Colleen Rothschild Mandelic Acid Serum. Ooh, good one. TLC Sukari Baby Facial from Drunk Elephant. Yeah, it's kind of thick. All right, next up we have Holy Frog Shasto AHA Refining Acid Wash. Then Kate Somerville Liquid Exfolicate. Crazy disappointing for the price of this one. Derma E Overnight Peel. Good job, Derma E. Pixie Glow Tonic. Awesome, looks good. Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. Oh my goodness, no, negative on that. All right, let's start with Dr. Zenovia. She sends me so much in PR. Thought I would get something on here, but it's so heavily fragranced, I'm so surprised. This is a peel pad, so I'm just gonna swipe it on the end there. Oh, Dr. Z, really? Negative, all righty. Close that right on up. This is the Bee Berry Radiant Resurfacing Mask. Very nice. Derma E Radiance Toner. Ooh. Nope. Alpha Skin Care Renewal Body Lotion. 12% glycolic acid, also formulated at a pH of four. Running out. pH of four, exactly like it said. Pixie's Glycolic Body Lotion. Aw, Pixie. All right, well, I'll tell you what, that wasn't the bloodbath I thought it was gonna be, and a lot of these came out to be in the good pH. There were only four that were really surprisingly not good, so I guess I'm off their PR list, huh? That's okay, that's not what this is about. I do appreciate every company that ever sends me anything in PR. I don't want to offend anyone, but you know, you send it to me, there's no guarantee about what I'm gonna do with it. I could test it, I could put it on the dog, you know, I could give it to my kids, I could use it and love it, and it could show up in a video. So anyway, sending products to me is kind of a little bit of a crapshoot. So the products that seem to be the best and have the perfect pH to me were, of course, the Ordinary Lactic Acid. This is the one that I use every day in my skincare routine. Um, I don't use a glycolic acid just because my skin's a little sensitive and I do better with lactic, so this is what I use, but The Ordinary also makes a glycolic acid. I'm sure that the pH is good. It was kind of hard to tell because of the red coloring in The Ordinary AHA 30% BHA 2% um, peel if the pH was right, but I gotta think it was just because The Ordinary. Um, a real surprise was the Derma E Overnight Peel with alpha hydroxy acids. This one came up just perfect and low enough. So this one would be for people with not sensitive skin. If you've used a lot of alpha hydroxy acids before and your skin is good with it, this one has a lower pH. So this one was really a pleasant surprise. I gotta test this one out now, like maybe once a week at night, something like that. Um, another really good one was the Drunk Elephant TLC Sukari Baby Facial. You guys know I have used this for a long, long time in my skincare routine. I only use this one once a week as like a weekly peel, but if you're looking to save some money on that, I would say that you could try this Derma E one. I have to look up the ingredients and see if they're super similar, but the pH on this was really good and quite comparable to this guy. I was so happy to see the Pixie Glow Tonic was right in the right pH range because their vitamin C serum was... This is really their like 
bread and butter meat and potatoes products so that is a good one the colleen rothschild mandelic acid serum i like this one i've used you know quite a bit of it up uh, so that was good to see that colleen's is in the right ph range i was surprised by this bee berry bee radiant one like this beat out the super expensive kate somerville and this one is at an inexpensive drugstore price and of course the uh, two alpha lotion products they tell you right on the label that the ph is four so that's perfect for like everyday use maybe for people with a little bit more sensitive skin this is my go-to everyday body lotion that i use and then this one i haven't used on my face in a while just because like i said i don't use glycolic acid but if you're looking for a really great inexpensive glycolic acid product the alpha skin care is always a good way to go so those are two really good ones and then the last thing that i have in my basket as a winner was the holly frog this is a face wash with glycolic acid in it i don't really go in for or active ingredients in the face wash. For me, the face wash is just for getting my makeup off, getting the dirt and pollution and sunscreen off, and then I want my actives to arrive later when I put them on in my skincare routine. But that was a good one. I was happy to see that. Since I did just go through my PR closet, I didn't really have maybe all the products that you wanted to see. So if you want to see more products tested like this, go ahead and leave the names of the products below that you're most curious about. I will try to get them and we'll do another segment of pH testing. So that was everything I had to test for you today. I always love going into the lab and doing our little science experiments. And can we get a Yay for science! <laughs> All right, my skincare loving audience, I hope you found the video helpful and informative. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.